Hi everyone, I joined my paper executive contest because I wanted to do something different. Meet people I would normally never meet, and of course get out of my comfort zone. So I can say so far I haven't been disappointed as I got the chance to attend various workshops from skincare to communication and catwalk. So yes, I can definitely say it's been a challenging and terribly exciting experience. There you go, everybody. Fabian, welcome to Singapore. How long have you been here now? Two years. Two years. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. What's your number one favorite Singaporean dish on your head right now? Yeah, mee goreng. How about your mee goreng? Don't spoil it, huh? This is real. Okay. Fabian, what is the biggest difference in corporate culture between Singapore and France, and how do you, you know, turn it to your advantage? Yeah, I think it's commitment. I think uh, Singaporean uh, Singaporean employees are more committed. So, um, so uh, to my advantage, uh, I must say, as a good I'm a time, it's easier to deal with people who do their job uh, easily and you know, uh, in a committed way. Actually, it's less work for me. Cool. All right, that's good. And it is for your advantage too. All right. Uh, why do you think Frenchmen are irresistible? You know, is it the French accent? And how do you make Singlish irresistible to women? How would you make Singlish irresistible to women? Oh, I love you, Lola. No. <laughs> I love you, Lola. No. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Why, why are Frenchmen so ir irresistible? Why do you think? Well, I don't know. Uh, I think okay, the accent. They always say that. So I think it's, it's, I guess it's true. And I think we are a bit shy. Frenchmen are shy. At least we pretend to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can you please give it up for Fabian Bonabau? Thank you, Fabian. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, Mandy Two from TV Architects Private Limited. The best part of the competition so far is all the support I get from family and friends and colleagues. I mean, they're really all kinds of supporters. There's some who really go all out and support you on their Facebook page. And then there's some who really don't really want to bother, but they still want to be a bit helpful. One guy came up to me and said, here's my IC number. You can vote for yourself. <laughs> so it's great because it's a new experience, and either way, I'm loving it. I think the guy was mistaken. You know, he wanted to give you his telephone number, then he thought, oh, here's my IC number. <laughs> He's going home kicking himself right now. Okay, uh, Mandy, your question goes like this. What do you think is the greatest difference between a woman architect and her male counterpart? Well, you know what? In my company, we have lots of men, lots of women, even at the top, the director. And I've been at meetings where it's chaired by a man, and then I've been at meetings where it's chaired by a woman. I've worked for both. The main difference I see is really the way you communicate. Because when I'm at meetings chaired by men, it's a lot more chop-chop. They do it a lot quicker, they're more assertive. And for women, meetings, it takes a little bit longer. But I realize the communication is a lot clearer, and later on, sometimes it, it saves time in the work process because everything's understood, you get things done, and then you know you can go about actually getting the work done. Who's better, a male or female architect? Well, you're asking me right now, you know, the male architect standing right behind me. <laughs> I actually signed him up for this contest, so I better be a big eyes and say, you know what? I'm just a little bit better. Oh boy. <laughs> You moved to Singapore from Brunei all alone. All alone. How did you overcome the loneliness? At first, it was like, let me just go and see what I can do, you know? I didn't know how homesick I was going to be. When I finally got here, my, the first thing that hit me was like, okay, who am I going to eat with? So, you know, the first month was really tough. I cried a lot, I'm not going to lie. But after I started getting to know people, opening up, actually that helped a lot. When I moved here, I became a lot more sociable. It opened me up, and then it felt like it's the best thing that could have happened. Awesome, and you're here now today in this contest. Everybody, please give it up for Mandy, too. <laughs> and now, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, business consultant, Ernst & Young, go simple. I mean, I've come a long way to today, and many people ask me how it has been, I would say it has been a humbling experience, because when you walk in your own field of expertise, you can learn the public game, but when you join a competition like that, you see people who do completely different things and are actually equally amazing at the things that they do. I would like to think it's a journey of possibilities, not just pertaining to who will win tonight, but I think uh, I'm really looking forward to more opportunities and platforms where I can inspire more younger executives to try out and be daring enough to try out new things. Alright, talking about daring and trying new things. My gosh, look at the leopard prints! Could be a cheetah, could be, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Looking at the wrong area, sorry. 
caught that on camera. Start it! Okay, here we go. Sit lane. You skydive. You climb the glacier. You bungee jump. You run marathons. Uh, you work for one of the biggest companies in the world. You're only 25. What drives you? What drives me? And I think, um, I think it's my mom. She is a senior staff nurse at Parkway Health. And I think um, what drives me is her passion for her work. I've never said this to her before. But I see, her, I see how hard she works at work. And it makes me very motivated to work hard to, drive, to achieve my goal. And that's what drives me. And what drives you crazy then? What drives me crazy? My boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's here actually. Uh, what drives me crazy? Um, when when things don't go my way, I like things to be to be what I want to want it to be, and that's why I strive hard to to achieve that. Your boyfriend is here, and, and, and remember, what when things don't go her way, you better be careful. Huh? Where's the boyfriend? Huh? He's somewhere around. Okay, now being one of the most petite women in this contest, how would you stand out in the crowd? First, wearing something like a leopard print dress. Um, second, I would say it's my um, first impression. I think packaging is very important, so I take a lot of effort in trying to make myself look at least presentable to people. Cool stuff. And also... Eat a lot of cupcakes, I think. Eat a lot. Oh, vote for this one, please. <laughs> please. She needs cupcakes and she still looks like that. See? Cupcakes are good for you. Okay, everybody, please give it up for Go Sinley. Alright, everybody. And now, from TV Architects Travelers, is Austin Chan! When I first joined this competition, I had no idea I'd run into so many old friends and make so many new friends at the same time. But this whole journey, the best thing so far, is that we get a chance to learn so much more about ourselves through the eyes of everyone around us. As the organizers, the instructors, and of course the other 15 contestants, we get to give so much a healthy critique to each other and I think everyone just grows. So we have 16 individuals coming together for this competition, but one entire group of executives will emerge so much better, so much stronger. There we go, everybody. Please give it up for Austin! Austin? Good stuff. Are you ready for your question? By the way, Austin is the funny guy in the group. You're the funny guy. You actually look more like a stand-up comedian, you know? Oh, I see his face. Oh. Fantastic. Okay, Austin. Buildings. It's all brick, all mortar. It's obviously, you know, very masculine. Could you pick your favorite building in the world and describe it in a way that is sexy and irresistible? Yeah, okay. Somebody hates you. <laughs> That's a tough one. Okay, I guess right now the uh, my favorite building will be the one that I just finished designing. Yes, uh, I can't describe it's kind of top secret, but it's very sexy because it's modern, it's sleek, very much like me. <laughs> You're very sleek, man. <laughs> try my best, I'm trying to Okay. <laughs> Alright, now who has the greatest influence in your life and why? Wow, the greatest influence. I guess definitely, uh, without a doubt, the greatest influence are my parents. Unfortunately, they're not here because they're visiting my brother in Perth. But uh, they play a huge role in my life and in every single way, professionally, uh, privately, of course, and I got to thank them for every single thing that I have today. Uh, are, you, are you upset that your parents chose your brother over you? Sometimes, sometimes. But he has a baby, you see, so cuteness factor, number one. You also want cute one? Thanks. <laughs> Go Sin Lei and Austin Chan. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Very tough being on stage.